Alright, good morning ulit sa inyong lahat. Morning, and uh, welcome to our mandatory 8-hour safety seminar for workers. And uh, this is module 6, last module na natin. No? Uh, module 6 will uh, tackle compliance with administrative OSH requirements. Actually, na-discuss na rin natin ito nung una. I-review na lang natin. Right? Maganda rin yung nauulit-ulit kasi para mas maintindihan natin kung ano yung uh, topic. Ang uh, OSH module number 6 kasama dito ay ang uh, reportorial requirement reports and prescriptive period of submission. Kailan? No? Sa dapat isubmit. Ano yung mga deadlines? So bilang mga employers contractors or subcontractors if any na mayroon bang subcontractors kailangan sila mag-submit sa dole ng lahat ng safety and health reports and notifications then no uh, such as but not limited to ano yon annual medical report so when we say annual every year yan no per year once a year OSH committee report. Uh, ito yung ating uh, safety committee na binuo no? and uh, dapat magre-report din yan. Employers work accident injury report o yung tinatawag nila na WAIR and annual work accident injury exposure data report. Again, when we say annual, once a year yan, ito yung tinatawag nila, familiar ang uh, maraming safety officer dito bilang AEDR. Okay? So ito yung summary no? ng mga administrative and reportorial requirements. Para mas maintindihan, nilagyan ng uh, parang yung mga beginning ng letters nila no? para hindi makalimutan na bumubuo ng salitang N- ORTH North. Okay? So N is for notification and keeping of records or ito yung tinatawag natin na logbook. Ito yung record ng mga accidents and or occupational illnesses. So hindi lang mga accidents ang nilalagay sa logbook. Kahit yung mga nagkasakit uh, nung dumating sa office nilalagnat. Okay, inuubo, sinisipon. Meron pa lang COVID, yan. Okay, hinihika. Okay? So, yan yung mga occupational illnesses kailangan nating ilagay sa logbook kahit pinauwi natin yung worker. All right? Para history lang yan, historical uh, record, okay? Ito ay bahagi ng rule 1050 ng uh, Dole, no? doon sa ating uh, pinaigting na uh, occupational safety and health All right and yung tinatawag na wair na nabanggit natin kanina work accident ano pa yan uh, injury report All right ay uh, dapat isubmit natin every 20th of the succeeding month kasi hindi naman ng current month All right uh, kasi kung ano yung nangyari ngayon, i-report natin next month. Okay? And annual EDR. Right? Ito yung AEDR. Okay? Ano nga ulit ang EDR? Exposure Data Report or Work Accident Injury Exposure Data Report na exposed. So anong panggagalingan yan? Yung monthly na nire-report natin. Isa summarize and submit siya as AEDR. Ang submission naman nito ay every January 30 of the following year. Okay? So hindi naman yan uh, current. Okay. Kaya meron tayong one month halos para i-prepare ang total ng uh, nakalagay sa logbook. Okay. So importante yung logbook ha. Dapat meron na tayong logbook and uh, nagre-record na tayo dyan kung ano man yung mga accidents or illnesses okay? sa office. 
Yung susunod ay Occupational Health Services. Ito naman ay under Rule 1960. And R is for Registration of Business. Yan ay Rule 1020. Ito naman ay uh, naisagawa na natin at isang beses lang gagawin unless magkaroon ng pagbabago sa records ng uh, employer, sa office. Okay? Nag Lumipat tayo ng address, Ayan, i-register -re ulit natin yung business. Nagpalit uh, ng pangalan kasi from a partnership, uh, from a single proprietorship, ay naging uh, corporation. So i-re-register -re ulit natin yung business na yun. Alright? And the uh, letter T is for training of personnel in OSH. Ayan, rule 1030 yan, no? Ibibigay din natin yung report, sino-sino yung ating mga trained uh, personnel. Umatend ng 40 hours, umatend ng 8, 10 hours sa uh, Safety Officer 1, uh, umatend ng uh, yung 40 hours Safety Officer 2, at umatend ng uh, uh, first aid training. I-report Re natin yan sa DOLE. And lastly ay ang uh, Health and Safety Committee. Pagbuo ng Health and Safety Committee So isasubmit natin under Rule 1040 sino-sino yung nagbumubuo ng Health and Safety Committee and kailangan mag-submit ng minutes of meeting at least quarterly. Ibig sabihin, dapat every three months, every quarter, nagmi-meeting ang, ang Health and Safety Committee. Alright? Questions? Next is the mandatory OSH programs or occupational safety and health programs. Ano ano ito? Okay, ito yung mga sample ng mandatory OSH programs. Drug-free workplace policy. Oh, hindi ibig sabihin yan. Mamimigay ng libreng drugs ang company. Kaakala nyo, yun yung policy. Siyempre, ibig sabihin yan, dapat walang gumagamit ng illegal drugs sa lahat ng employees or workers, no? lalo na dyan sa workplace. Okay? Next is alcohol-free. Oh, hindi naman libre alcohol. Yung ano, yung gamit natin, pang uh, disinfectant, yan, libre yan. Pero yung mga nakakalasing na inumin okay, ay bawal din po sa ating workplace. Okay? Meron tayong policy rin dyan. Meron ding HIV and AIDS workplace policy. Ano ang gagawin ng uh, employer, ng employees kapag nagkaroon ng HIV and AIDS? No? Siyempre, unang-una, walang discrimination. Okay? Yan. All right. Next is tuberculosis prevention workplace policy. Paano ba maiiwasan ang kalat pagkahawa ng tuberculosis sakaling mayroong uh, magkaroon no uh, sa ating opisina ano yung gagawin so medyo pahinga muna di ba and uh, pero mayroong tayong binibigay na assistance doon sa uh, employee at hindi natin sila i-terminate yun pala ang isa sa ibig sabihin nitong policy na ito no walang uh, discrimination para sa mga Itong tao na, na magkaroon ng tuberculosis or HIV and AIDS. Ganon din, hepatitis B. Okay? Uh, hepatitis B prevention workplace policy. Kailangan din pala natin ito. At mayroon din tayo itong i-implement. Lahat yan ay uh, base doon sa standard template na ibinibigay naman ng DOLE. Okay? Mayroon din anti-sexual harassment workplace policy. No? So, of course... Majority nito or karamihan nito ay para sa kababaihan. Siyempre, ang kalalakihan ay uh, pwede rin no, na mag-complain ng uh, harassment kung uh, siya naman ang hinaharas ng kababaihan. Okay? So, both sexes ito applicable. All right? Mental health, workplace, policies and programs. So, uh, nagbibigay din ang uh, DOLE, no? ang Department of Labor and Employment ng protection sa mga manggagawa, sa mga employees pa na may kinalaman sa kanilang mental health. And ang panghuli, ang pinakabago dahil dyan sa pandemic na yan ay ang uh, COVID-19 workplace policy. Meron tayong ini-implement yan uh, kung sakaling merong na-infect, nag-positive, okay? or nagkaroon ng contact. Yan. Uh, so, 
work from home muna, di ba? Stay at home uh, until uh, mag uh, negative ang kanyang result after the quarantine period. Okay? Next. Examples naman ng mga ito ay company initiated policies and programs na. All right? Hindi naman ito inire-require ng dole pero maganda kung mayroon ding ganito ang ating company. So compensation and benefits policy. Meron tayo niyan sa ating uh, policy book. Working conditions policy. Code of conduct and discipline policy. Nakalista rin yan sa ating policy book. Breastfeeding in workplace policy. So ito ay uh, i-adapt din natin. No? Kaya nga mag-allocate tayo ng isang area sa ating uh, opisina para uh, sa breastfeeding or uh, para sa mga lactating Uh, mothers no kasi hindi lang naman yung breastfeeding pwedeng yung uh, breast uh, milk pumping di ba kasi kung di naman kasama yung baby ayan and uh, meron din tayong social media policy ano nga ba paano no so yung privacy ng ating mga employees maingatan din uh, actually meron din tayong uh, internet use okay policy and uh, family welfare program yan and the uh, retirement policy. Okay, meron din tayo niyan. So most of these uh, company initiated policies and programs ay meron naman tayo. Okay? So kumbaga, hindi lang yung provided or nire-require ng uh, dole, uh, meron din company initiated, no? Karagdagan 'yan ng mga benefits, policies and programs na ibinibigay ng ating kumpanya sa mga empleyado. Now, let's go to the prohibited acts and its corresponding penalties. Medyo marami ito ha. Dahil lang uh, any willful failure. Willful is uh, gusto, ano, di ba? Uh, sa kagustuhan no? ng uh, employer okay? or refusal ng employer, contractor or subcontractor na mag-comply dito sa mga sumusunod na OSH standards or with com a compliance order na binigay no ng Secretary of Labor and Employment at ng kanyang authorized representative ipepenalize no ito yung mga administrative fines uh, and computed on a per day basis nako grabe ha daily yung yung fine na yan okay so number one, registration of establishment to dole nakapag-register na ba tayo yes okay at uh, kung hindi pa nako every day na hindi ka nagre-register yan ang fine 20,000 pesos provision of job safety instruction or orientation prior to work ito ang ginagawa natin no as safety training and sa mga magiging bago kailangan muna nilang umattend ng safety training kung wala ay at na-interview sila ng taga Dole na wala yun mayroon na naman tayong penalty na 20,000 pesos per day. Provision of workers training at first aid, mandatory workers training, mandatory OSH training for safety officers and health personnel. So may penalty na naman. At least nag-comply na tayo rin dito at uh, mayroon na tayong mga certificates. Okay? A provision of uh, safety signage and devices. Okay? Kaya pinapaprint sa inyo yung uh, mga safety signage na galing mismo sa Dole at uh, yun ay ipopost sa mga uh, lugar no sa entrance sa bulletin board kung saan ito applicable doon mismo sa room ng uh, technical yan anything na may kinalaman doon sa electrical safety yan ipopost natin doon sa mga areas na dapat okay so sana ay na-print niyo na yung mga safety signage na yan mga devices naman ay nakapag-provide naman din tayo yung ating uh, air filter no uh, kasama yan doon sa mga devices para mabigyan tayo ng malinis na hangin okay at kaya rin natin binubuksan yung ating mga bintana every morning okay para pumasok ang fresh air mapalitan yung stagnant air sa loob ng rooms okay Provision of medical supplies, equipment, and facilities. Yan, na-discuss natin ito nung isang araw. Ating mga medical supplies, uh, emergency kit, okay? yung mga equipment and facilities, meron na rin naman tayo. So, complied naman tayo dito. Submission of repertorial requirements. 
as prescribed by OSH standards. So nalaman na natin yung mga reportorial requirements kailangan na nating mag-submit. Ayan, at uh, para hindi rin tayo ma-penalize every 20th of the month and uh, every January 30. Okay. Provision of safety officer and or OH personnel. Meron naman na tayo, so compliant din tayo dyan. Provision of certified personnel or professionals required by the OSH standards. Yung ating first aider ay certified dapat. No? And uh, meron na rin naman tayo. All right? Establishment of a safety and health committee. All right? Makapag-organize na rin naman tayo niyan. Uh, binubuo yan yung uh, safety officer 2 ng uh, mga safety officer 1, ating first aiders at representative from employee at siyempre representative ng ating management. Okay? Yan ang uh, safety and health committee. Formulation and implementation of a comprehensive safety and health program. Alright, implement lang din natin. Meron namang uh, template yan at yan ang gagawin din natin. Provision of information on hazards and risks. Absence of chemical data, safety data sheet. Okay? Walang written uh, SOP in materials handling, lifting, etc. So ito yung standard operating procedures. Kailangan meron lang tayong uh, kasama doon sa ating uh, OSH manual. Uh, yan yung pinagawa ko, pinabili ko sa inyo na uh, ring binders at doon natin ilalagay lahat yung mga policies and uh, ito, yung mga written procedures. Kung mayroon man tayong mga safety data sheets at saka SOP in materials handling, eh, ilalagay din natin doon, pagsasamasamahin natin doon. Okay? No permitting system for confined spaces, hot works, no lockout, tag out system, etc. Ito yung, ano, yung mga controls no, doon sa mga areas na... Uh, High risk. So wala naman tayong ganyan. Not applicable naman yung iba dyan sa atin. Alright? Provision of sanitary and welfare facilities. So meron naman tayong restroom. Maganda yung ating uh, restroom. Okay? And use of approved or certified devices and equipment for the task. Okay? So sa atin naman, uh, wala naman tayong... Ma hindi man kasi tayong manufacturing so wala tayong masyadong ganito all right a uh, provision of PPE or charging of provided PPE to workers all right so ang baka kasi ang intindi ninyo ang PPE lang ay ang face shield at mask dahil sa covid no ngayon lang tayo na exposed diyan sa PPE na yan uh, sa construction kasi marami silang PPE okay yung mga safety shoes uh, yung mga hard hat at uh, gloves yan kailangan nila no so at dapat yun ay libreng ibinibigay sa workers at sa atin libre atin, naman yung ating uh, face shield and face mask okay uh, compliance with dole issued WSO or work stop order kapag uh, pinatigil ng dole dahil sa kanilang inspection may nakita sila na very high risk no at high uh, probability okay yung tsaka yung severity nung uh, risk ay very high, di ba? Napag-aralan napag natin ay immediate stoppage ng work. Ayan. So next is uh, la or last compliance to other OSH standards. Alright? Malinaw? So napakaraming penalty. No? Akala natin ay simple lang yung uh, occupational safety and health. At yan pala talaga ay uh, sabi nga doon sa batas strengthening pinaigting no pinalakas na batas kaya ipepenalize ang violators at ang masaklap pa nito on a daily basis no hindi yon one time okay penalties for violations nako na nahuli lang yon okay so prohibited acts and its corresponding penalties failure or Refusal to comply with OSH standards or compliance order shall be deemed willful when done voluntarily, deliberately, and intentionally. Yan, nabanggit na natin yan kanina. No? And an employer, contractor, or subcontractor who is found to have repeatedly violated the same prohibited act shall be penalized of the corresponding fine plus. No? Paulit-ulit ha. Additional fine equivalent to 50% thereof. No? May additional 50% ng fine. 
every instance of repeat violation. Talagang ano, mahigpit, no? Dinagdagan pa, no? Kapag paulit-ulit ang violation. If any of the following act is present and there is non-compliance after the inspection, may nakitang paglabag at hindi nag-comply ang company, the penalty of 100,000 pesos administrative fine shall be imposed. No? Separate pa yan and in addition to the daily administrative fine imposed above. Okay? So yung repeated, paulit-ulit na obstruction, delay, refusal to provide the Secretary of Labor or any of its authorized representative access to the covered workplace or refusal to allow access to relevant records and documents necessary in determining compliance with OSH standards. So kung paulit-ulit, dinidelay, ayaw uh, pagbigyan uh, ang Secretary of Labor or representative, di ba? na big access sa mga records at documents, nako, eh, ayan ang parusa, no. Napakalaking penalty. On top of yan, ha? in addition to mm, doon sa daily penalties. Misrepresentation in relation to adherence to OSH. Ano yung misrepresentation? Nagsabi siya na siya ang uh, safety officer, hindi pala, wala naman pala siyang certification, no. Nagsabi siya na siya ang first aider. Hindi naman pala. Okay? So may parusa yan. No? Making retaliatory measures. No? Paglaban. No? Pag, kumbaga, paggante. No? Such as termination of employment. Refusal to pay. Reducing wages. Binawasan ng uh, sweldo. Kasi in-report yung employer. Gumante ang employer. Okay? Agayon din, binawasan yung benefits or in any manner discriminate against any worker who has given information relative to the inspection being conducted. Nabalitaan nyo ba yung isang employee na in-report yung kanyang employer uh, tapos ang pinasweldo puro bariya? Diba? Uh, so isang ano yon isang paraan yon na retaliatory measure pang inis pang asar no uh, pinasweldo ng puro barya no pwede ba naman yon hindi ba sinasadya yon di ba so yan uh, yan ay recently lang na nabalita okay so although hindi naman yon may kinalaman sa safety and health pero ganon ang ibig sabihin ng retaliatory measure baka tanggalin yung employer ay employee okay uh, hindi pa swelduhin bawasan ng sweldo or benefits no o kaya i-discriminate hindi tayo lalabag doon okay kayo matakot na mag-report and the uh, section 29 parent prohibited acts and its corresponding penalties when the violation exposes the worker to death no delikado ah, yung violation na ah, pwedeng magkaroon pala ng cost ano ang cost ay ah, kamatayan ng employee or serious injury or serious illness ang imposable penalty ay 100,000 pesos pa rin grabe napakalaki talaga para matakot ang employer at uh, ingatan ang mga employees should there be two or more uh, non compliance all penalties shall be Imposed. Grabe na naman talaga ito. No? Provided that the total daily penalty shall not exceed 100,000 pesos. May limit naman pala. Right? The penalties shall be computed on a per day basis until full compliance is reckoned from the date of the notice of violation or service of the compliance order to the employer without prejudice. No? to the filing of a criminal or civil case in the regular court, courts as may be or as the case may be okay fines herein imposed shall be without prejudice to the fines imposable by other appropriate government agencies so, walang bukod pa ha? bukod pa ito ha? kung meron mang yung ibang ahensya ng pamahalaan na ipinapataw na parusa or penalty So talaga napakahigpit ng ating uh, Department of Labor and Employment sa kasalukuyan 
para maingatan tayo ng mga employees. The regional director shall, after due notice and hearing, impose the appropriate administrative fines taking into consideration the damage or injury, cost, and risk involved, including the severity and frequency of the OSH violations and size of the establishment. The fines collected, yung mga nakuha no, ng mga penalty, no, ay pursuant ito sa rules and shall be utilized, gagamitin para sa operation ng OSH initiatives, hindi naman pala ibubulsa no? ng mga DOLE inspector or ng labor secretary. Ito ay magiging incentive for qualified employers and workers in recognition of their efforts towards ensuring compliance with OSH. General labor standards including OSH trainings and education as well as intergovernmental programs and activities okay malinaw yes sir so enforcement is just one response but not the only response although mahigpit ang ating dole no napakaraming penalty pero it's just one response hindi yun lang ang pinaka response. Meron pa rin tayong mga education and training, okay? So, lahat tayo pwedeng maging OSH champions. And this concludes our mandatory safety seminar for workers. And uh thank you for completing our six module seminar. So, magi-issue ang ating company ng uh, completion certificate or certificate of completion sa lahat ng uh, nakakompleto bilang katunayan na kayo ay naka-attend ng mandatory safety seminar for workers. Questions? Okay, malinaw lahat? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, itong uh, video ay ipopost natin para kung gusto nyong ma-review Uh, one hour, one hour lang naman per module except yung isa no, na hinati natin at uh, yun, pwede siyang panoorin anytime. Alright? And uh, pwede rin kayong magpunta sa website ng DOLE www.dole.gov.ph o kaya ay sa BWC Bureau of Working Condition uh, www.dole.gov.ph Okay? or yung oshdole.gov.ph uh, bawat uh, region uh, regional office ng dole ay mayroon no na nakatalaga mga regional officers na may kinalaman sa BWC Bureau of Working Condition at saka sa OSH Occupational Safety and Health right so sana ay uh, Gawin natin yung mga natutunan natin, mag-inspect tayo, tingnan natin yung mga identify natin, yung mga hazards, possible hazards diyan sa ating uh, office. Identify, after identifying, ay tingnan natin, i-assess natin yung risk. Okay? Gaano kalala ang idudulot nito na pinsala kung sakali man no, na magkaroon ng aksidente. Alright? And uh, paano natin na uh, maiiwasan? Pwede bang alisin, pwedeng palitan, okay? or maglagay ng control measures para mapigilan ang pagkakaroon ng aksidente. Okay? At uh, iba pang pa mga natutunan natin sa buong panahon ng ating pag-aaral. Implement natin 'yan. Okay, mahiya, sabihin niyo sa inyong supervisor, yung inyong mga nakita at uh, bawal na uh, kayo ay Uh, i-discriminate or pahirapan, no? gantihan. Right? So, pwede nyo rin isumbong sa akin pagka gano'n ang ginawa sa inyo. Okay? So, ulit. Or pwede nyo rin isumbong sa dole mismo. Ha? Oh. So, walang pumipigil po sa inyo na yan ay uh, gawin no? uh, para maprotektahan ang mga employees. Alright? So, again, thank you very much. Good morning. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Paul.